So yesterday I put out a video talking about the idea of having more quality conversations over quantity. Now, the thing with this is that it's going to be really more focused on people who have been doing approaching for a much longer period of time and they are now desensitized to starting those conversations or doing the cold approach stop side of things. But I did also mention in the video that, you know, if you are a beginner, then your situation is going to be very different. You need to consider talking to everyone. And the reason behind this is because you're going to be creating something called social momentum, which is basically the ability to create this social energy and maintain it at a decent enough level that when you start speaking to women that you are attracted to, you're already going to be prepped for it as opposed to if the situation were to happen where you did see someone that you're attracted to and you haven't been talking to people, you might start feeling very anxious and you may even find you're not going to go over and speak to someone. I'd say, you know, whether or not you're on your own or with a wing who is maybe at that same confidence level as you, it is going to be very difficult to be talking to very beautiful women. So, Talk to everyone and it doesn't even matter what you talk about. It can be asking for directions, giving a compliment, making an observation, giving a statement. It really doesn't matter, but it's about constantly talking to people. And if you're not yet also at that phase where, you know, you are comfortable with cold approaching, then absolutely you just have to learn to desensitize yourself to it. And I think as well, something else that I just want to make sure that doesn't happen to guys who are practicing is if the scenario plays out or let, let's say I don't want the scenario to play out where you've got a guy who is practicing like solid days talking to people and he's only wanting to talk to beautiful women. Now, even in places like with London, wherever you are in the world, but even with London, you aren't going to be seeing an attractive woman like every five minutes. It doesn't happen. It could be like a couple of hours in between someone else that you see is attractive. And if you're not practicing and again, getting that social momentum in place, then that space in between each approach, those couple of hours you're going to get very much in your head. You're going to start overthinking things. That anxiety is going to creep in. You're going to feel weird from just walking around and not really doing anything, especially if you're on your own. And it's going to be very difficult to talk to someone when that opportunity finally comes. So the best way really to combat that is to constantly talk to people get yourself desensitized to it, get yourself to a point where you are so comfortable with it that you can then afford to just have days or where you just come out for a, an hour or so and you can get yourself into that, that social momentum state so quickly that you don't need to be spending hours upon hours warming up. You might find then that it will just be like one approach or two where you give a compliment or ask directions, whatever, and you are in that flow state. You are in that momentum where if you did see someone that you're attracted to, you can do it. And of course, the, the place that I really want every guy to get to is where they don't need to be necessarily going out to practice. It is just ingrained into your everyday life. And that's where you don't have to necessarily worry about warming up. You might then just see someone that you're attracted to and you will go over and strike a conversation with them. And you'll already be in that mood, that fluid state. You'll already be very sociable. That momentum is there and you will be fine. And you'll end up having a conversation and, you know, statistically, hopefully you should end up getting a good result from that. Whereas if you aren't practicing, if you haven't yet got yourself comfortable with getting into that social momentum or that flow state really quickly, then you need to be just talking to everyone. So going back to the question, should you just be talking to attractive women? 
only if you're comfortable with cold approaching. If you've put in the hard work to get yourself to that point where you don't need to be constantly warming up, then sure. And what's funny is I think even over the years, the uh, the pickup industry doesn't really want to be promoting that. They want to just be promoting this idea that you should just be talking to the most attractive and hottest of women. But that can be a very time consuming thing. And you have to bear in mind as well, the people who can say that are the ones who can afford the time to just be wandering around on the street. Whereas your normal everyday guy isn't going to have that. They need to be though getting the practice in and talking to everyone. And that is absolutely okay. You can talk to people that you're attracted to definitely. And you can talk to people that you're not attracted to. You can talk to women, you can talk to men, you can talk to older people you can talk to people your age and even younger as well as long as it is within reason so talk to everyone get that social momentum get comfortable talking to strangers and get yourself to a place where you can enjoy that luxury of being picky of just talking to the women that you want to but don't listen to this rubbish if it's still being promoted online, that you should only just be practicing and talking to hot women. You don't get that opportunity depending on where you are in the world. And I'd rather you be getting the practice in and getting used to talking to people, improving your social and conversation skills than just walking around aimlessly, which will just make you go weird. Uh, I hate to say it, but you know, If you're walking around and just doing nothing all day, that is not going to improve you. You might be getting out the house. You will certainly be getting the exercise, but that will not improve your social skills and that won't improve your conversation skills with women. So practice talking to everyone and you don't have to be flirting with people. You don't have to be asking for phone numbers, especially with people that you're not attracted to. But it's just good to get that social momentum in. And that is the takeaway that I want you to get from this video is that talk talk to everyone is okay. There is nothing wrong with it. And especially if you need to be practicing your conversations and uh, and just overcoming your anxiety with strangers. You know, social anxiety is a very real thing and it's okay to acknowledge it. And in fact, it's great to acknowledge it and just to accept that that needs work. You need to be focusing on that and overcoming it if you want to be really integrating cold approaching into your dating life. You know, give it time. And if you're struggling, consider going to a dating coach. And also, if you're struggling, um, consider coming to me And I can help you with that as well. I do offer my life coaching. I do offer my integral eye movement therapy that particularly works on social anxiety. And that can make all the difference in the world if you're going to a dating coach or just focusing on working on your uh, your cold approach skills, even on your own or even with friends or even in a community. So I hope this video was useful. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the description below. Are you someone who's in that stage where they can just approach the women that they're attracted to? Or are you in that phase instead that you need to be talking to everyone? And I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this and maybe even giving advice on what other guys can do to just work on improving their confidence even faster and becoming desensitized to cold approaching so they can just talk to the women that they really like. But other than that, please like, please subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on more things that's going to help you with your social anxiety in dating. And of course, I've been Dan, that dating anxiety guy, and look forward, please, to more videos coming from me in the near future.